time of 4.48. She's from the St. Abbans Club. Last year she's our national indoor 3,000 metre champion, Cheryl Nolan. I just do the announcement, they have the prize. In second place, in the time of 5.03, she runs with the Crusaders Club, which was the first club in Ireland to allow women become members. It was allowed. Charlotte Myers. And just two seconds behind Charlotte, and a very, very close finish there, in third place was Rachel Murphy. And that finish was very, very tight. 4.48, 5.03 and 5.05. So they're going to get their, their picture took and while they are, we'll go uh, one, two, three in the men. In third place, and there's a story here, because the officials thought that the third place finisher was Lorcan Benekar, who runs for Rihini and is a student in Ords Reach. And Lorcan um, put his hand up and said, no, I don't think I was third. In third place is Benjamin Collier. So, stand out to Martin and Benjamin Collier to see you is in third place. There she is, well done, from Newbridge Athletic Club in County Kildare. We go to Vets over 50 now in a time of 4.33 was the winner there, uh, Leah Fulcher. Well, Lee. 433 faster than the male over 40 and male over 50 was the only current world champion that was running today Nick Keeney is the world masters over 55 10k champion I know she's not here now but she won the over 50 in 543 and she had to leg it and she was gone I know so that's a Nick Keeney from Rihini in the over 60 class in the males in the time of 5.55, so still under six minutes. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. So Rachel and me took part in our first mile road race. It was the Griffin Mile. It's famous mile race in Ireland, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's when. going 50 years. It's going 50 years. Yeah. Uh, so uh, how did you find it? Um, it wasn't quite what I expected. I'm looking at, as was previous, Editions of it looked like it was going to be very downhill, um, which I was a little bit wary of. But it was flatter actually running it than what it looks like. Um, but it was very, I think it was a sellout event again. Um, it was the 50th anniversary this year. It was very busy, but not not so busy that people were in your way. I suppose we started fairly, fairly near the front um, after a few of the elite crowds. Yeah, um, and we beat some of the elite. We did beat some of the elite, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a really good race. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I I actually thought it was going to be more downhill. I actually uh, I'm glad it wasn't. Uh, like uh, I ran 4:33, you ran 5:05. 5:05. Uh, Rachel should have ran faster. I think she should have probably ran 10 seconds quicker. Yeah, she, yeah. she like we've been held for two weeks, so uh, that's probably the reason. Is that your reason? Yeah, like I wanted it. I felt mm. like I was going to throw up. I actually wanted to crawl into the ground about 800 meters into the race. I felt so ill. Um, I really wanted to stop, but yeah, I'm pretty uh, determined to try and finish races as, in, as much as possible. So I said, right, just keep going. Um, so I did, I managed to claw my way to, to third, so. My um, target yeah. was 4.30, yeah. but it was windy that day. Was. I say slowed everyone down by about five seconds, because there was that headwind. Uh, and Rachel, can I be honest, she shouldn't come third. The girl threw it away at the end. She did, yeah. If you, I'll put the end up there. Basically, the girl kind of eased up before the line and Rachel being Rachel, she runs through the line and she ran through the line and took the girl on the line, which, you know, sucks for the other girl. But so if she had kept going, she yeah. would have had the win, but she didn't. And yeah, three, um, I, don't, I don't stop before the there line. There was three so. girls that finished on 5.05, yeah? yeah? So it's very close for third. Yeah. Age... Uh, Age. Rachel won uh, age category. Yeah. So uh, you didn't get a prize for that because she came third in the race. Yeah. So she came third in the race, so they give the other age category to the other person who doesn't third, which for me is fair. Yeah. Uh, I won my age category. 
yeah, yeah. which time for 33 yeah. is, is good. So next year we will run faster because yeah. we're doing a lot of speed work now for lower stuff. 800 meters, 1500 meters. I did do a lot of mile speed work, a lot of 800s for this race. I was concentrating more on this race than any other races. After the race was very good. It was, yeah, it was brilliant. That's there was a lot of yeah. vans, you had to pay for the food, yeah. but there was a lot of vans. We had a curry, a it's vegan curry. Yeah. Uh, Clearer tea. kitchen, yeah, it was really nice. Really yeah. nice, so I enjoyed that. We had a coffee yeah. and stuff, yeah. and there was a band on, and the awards and stuff. Yeah. So we yeah. will do that again. I probably will do that every year, to be honest with you, yeah. until you know, I'm at 100 and something because I did enjoy it. I do think the course is nice. It's not too far, it's not too much downhill, so you don't hurt yourself. And if you are living abroad, I recommend you booking this one. You've got to book it early because it's a sellout. Uh, so I think, what, probably July, is it? It takes place it's, in September. Well, September, yeah. But yeah, I do but recommend it. From July, yeah, yeah, I do recommend it. Uh, I was going to go to UK that weekend and do the, the one mile in London. But this one came so we did this one so yeah. we'll probably do this one every year if the england one comes a week earlier we'll do that as well but i do recommend this if you live abroad to do this one mile if you want a quick one mile because it is quick not too quick but it's quick so that's it just remember train hard or die trying